All right, man. Apparently, Calvin Johnson will be inducted into uh, the pride of, of the Lions. Um, I guess that's supposed to be the version of the Ring of Honor. Um, so uh, let's check it out. Uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance of notification, go live and drop video. Lions to induct X Calvin Johnson, X uh, Lions to induct X receiver Calvin Johnson into the pride of the Lions. It says that announced uh, Monday. Let me see if I can zoom in because this the way they got this is dumb. Um, there we go. Uh, Detroit Lions announced Monday that Calvin Johnson will be added to the team's pride. The Lions further signaling and repairing uh, the team's relationship with the Hall of Fame receiver, 38 years old. Uh, Johnson will be honored at halftime of the September 30th game between Lions and Seahawks on Monday Night Football. There had been a rift between Johnson and the Lions after the team asked Johnson to repay $1.6 million of his signing bonus he had given at the start of his last contract. After he retired following the 2015 season, however, the Lions have worked to mend the relationship with Johnson the past few years, which let me speak on that. That was dumb. Let him keep the money. All the money y'all made off his backs and he didn't win. They only do that to black players. And I'm going to go ahead and say it. And I said it. You know, they did. I remember they did it to Barry. They should let Barry go to Miami. I like how Belichick handled that with Gronkowski. Gronkowski, you know, wanted to get traded to Tampa. You know, he traded for Tampa, got something for him. That's why the Lions stay loser for so long because the idiot ass owner move like a big bitch. Excuse my language, dude. These dudes didn't get you everything they didn't had on that field, you know, and you didn't do put the proper people pieces in place. Barry and Calvin should have been granted the same leniency that Matthew Stafford was. I don't care, and that's straight up and down. And a lot of fans back in the day, I remember as a kid, they was turning on Barry. He gave you everything he got. Let him go down there. If he think he can win in Miami, it's okay. Oh, man, it's a business. But it wasn't a business for Matthew Stafford. They didn't renege on Andrew Luck. It wasn't a business. He got to keep his bread. So I, I really ain't trying to hear that. They should have paid him $2.6 million for his inconvenience. They would have had to get it from God off me, bro. They had to take me to court to get that one point six back. Because I wouldn't have been paying nothing back. Straight up and down. They would have had to get it from God, bro. Because that's that's ridiculous. I took more of a loss in playing for this organization. And this is why you see people like Eli Manning and, and his dad, Archie Manning, said they ain't going to the Chargers. You hear Deion saying his son, uh, son and Trevor Hunter ain't going to certain places. I don't blame him. That, you know, going to certain uh, franchises can make or break you. It can make or break you. You know, you know, it can make or break you. You know, you know, it can make or break you. You know, so. At the end of the day, all the troubles he's been through, oh, man, you got people that say, well, you know, it's a business. It's a business. Man, shut up. You, They made more than enough money off these guys. You know, and they did the same thing to Barry. Oh, pay this back, and you can't go here. Why not allow him to go play somewhere else? He done bust his ass for you for many years, man. Business is not business. Y'all do it for them folks. And they do. Real talk. That's why, you know, if black people ever got their stuff together, we need to be building our own leagues and stuff. If Africans ever got on coal with us, you know what I'm saying? The, the uh, All the, you know, the countries in Africa, Ghana, Egypt and all, if they ever got on, well, they ain't even got their shit together over there. They let people coming over there to this day still colonizing their culture and their cities and shit. But if they ever got their stuff together, bro, we'd be a powerhouse. We'd be a powerhouse. Wouldn't have to take this bullshit no more. Yeah, Mr. Ford was on some bull job back in the day. And I can get I could do a whole video on him on, on his history. He was a straight clown. Straight clown. 
straight clown. He was so much so a clown that that they gave him the lions to stay out of four, stay out of the four company business. That's how he got the lions because they wanted to keep him out the boardroom for messing up the company. He brought his time fully right down down the street. He was a clown. He said Mike Disner, the Lions chief operating officer, surprised Johnson at a charity of tournament on Monday. And with the announcement last year, Johnson told ESPN he gave Disner credit for helping repair a relationship with the team. It shouldn't take Disner to come repair a relationship. Martha, whatever the what is it, the one now in there that actually doing a good job? Uh Sheila should have went down there and personally handed that man a check for two, three million dollars. It's nothing to them. It's nothing. They just got $400 million for a football snap. Johnson told Up in Adams show K. Adams that Monday surprise, surprise man was a tear jerker, 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 quote, pause. He said, I didn't see it coming. I wasn't expecting it, Johnson said. It was just an honor to be celebrated by my peers and by the city of Detroit. Um, so Johnson was inducted to the Pro Football Hall of Fame 2021, host the Lions franchise for reception, 731, receiving 11,619, touchdowns 83, and who was selected to Six Pro Bowls and three First Team All Pro squad in his nine season career. Also held the NFL single season single season receiver record at nineteen thousand six hundred sixty four yards in twenty twenty twelve or twenty twelve. So yeah, they they did him dirty, bro. We all know they did Kyle dirty, and um, he should have had more numbers than that had they put a proper team around him. Um, they also well, Calvin didn't have no help. Man, he had help. Um. But it is what it is. He said, quote, we were thrilled to add Calvin Johnson to Pride Alliance. Lions President CEO Rod Woods said in a statement, his commitments on the field and to the city of Detroit are legendary, and this is well-deserved honor. We are proud that he will be forever memorialized in, uh, inside of the Ford Field in Detroit Lions. Uh, and as a Detroit Lion, I'm proud of the Lions, which were the first unveiled in 2029, 2009, permanent display at Ford Field, which honors the best player's history. Johnson will become the 21st former Lions player to receive honor. And Stafford better not be in that shit. He will, but he better not. He didn't win shit here, but a bunch of hollow stats. So I say that before I get off. But shout out to Calvin Johnson, a pro's pro. Hey, but thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification. Appreciate your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video. Uh, financially, want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love support. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist for more videos like this. Peace.